If you're starting a side hustle or your business while you're still working full time, I know that sometimes it can feel really overwhelming and frustrating to find time to do this and also to be able to be productive if you have a busy schedule. So I also know that your time is really precious to you. So whatever hours that you are dedicating and investing in your business, you want to be making sure, right, that you're maximizing the value of those hours and making sure that you feel progress and momentum in the time that you're spending, right, growing and building building your business. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a cool process that I've used since uh, the days that I was transitioning from corporate right into a full time entrepreneurship model. And also what I keep using today after seven years in business that has really helped me to focus on the right things to do in my week, how to block off time in my schedule for priorities that are important to me, and also how to use theme days to really batch and maximize your productivity so that you can get more done in less time. Stay tuned. If you're new here, I'm Lydia Lee. I help budding entrepreneurs to create their dream business without overthinking, self-doubt, and complicated strategies. So if you're looking to build a business designed from your strengths, your values, and your personality, you are in the right place. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification button to get more videos like this one that I publish every single week. Here's what you don't want to do when a fresh new week rolls around the corner, right? It's starting on a Monday, you wake up and you get frazzled <laughs> on what the hell you're going to be doing this week because you haven't taken the time to plan your week, right? If you don't plan your time and your energy and your focus very easily, your time will be then controlled by somebody else. I take about 30 minutes every single week to plan my week. And I only do this in one sitting. And it's been amazing for keeping my focus on what it is that I want to prioritize my time for. But it also created a space for myself to actually, before I start getting busy doing things or busy on other people's agendas, or right, going to work, whatever it is that is on your schedule, um, having this time to really just spend 30 minutes with myself and really think about how I want to make my week a great week is really important to me. So the first thing to do is to open up your calendar. And if you're looking at an electronic calendar, this might be your uh, Google calendar, your Apple calendar, or it might actually just be a manual, you know, written out calendar, whatever is your jam, uh, take that out and just commit to time blocking the hours. Here's a sample calendar. As you can see, I am in love with color blocks. <laughs> it draws my attention to certain things and it helps me to see in color codes what belongs together and uh, what I'm committed to this week. So let's say you're working a nine to five job from Monday to Friday. That would You would enter that in first, right? Work hours nine to five, color code the same color. Uh, and then I like yellow for bright colors for things that are really personal to me and what I'm doing for or other personal priorities like meditation, uh, movement and exercise, which is an important goal for my days, uh, the, especially these days to create some mental wellness for myself. And even adventures outdoors every Sunday for four hours minimum, uh, my partner and I uh, hike or we just go to the beach or we do something that's outside of the house and away from electronics. So when I look at my days like this, it makes me know that uh, these yellow blocks are really planned day at times for me uh, that I'm committed to for my health, my well-being, and what's important to me, which could be something you want to prioritize putting, right? So work hours, what are your personal things that you're committed to, like meditation and exercise, and then actually really look at space in your calendar to be able to add time blocks to your calendar to work on your business. So you can see that I start my week, uh, plan my week, 8 a.m., 30 minutes, right? It's in green for go. Uh, and I also have an end of the week, which is Saturday morning for me from 9 to 10 a.m., which is a week review view and reflection, right? This lets me have an opportunity to take a look at what worked, what didn't work, what do I want to continue working on next week? What do I need to put to bed and start over, right? Or just really spending a bit of time really assessing, right? And analyzing uh, what was good progress for me. What do I want to continue doing? What do I want to put aside or maybe put a pause on, right? Having a reflection time at the end of the week is really important for us as well. And then maybe an, or an orange block, you can go block for biz, right? An hour on a Tuesday morning, uh, 
Thursday morning and then 5 to 6 p.m. on a Friday. Maybe that's your time block. So that's a total of three hours, right, that you can be working on your business. And that if you block it off like this in your calendar, you're going to know what time it is that you're committing to. And also you're not planning for anything else around that so that you're not feeling frazzled. You're not feeling over pressured to do other things in that time block. Uh, and I think that's going to help you to really have a good scheduled calendar and to be to know what you're committing to and not over commit and not over schedule yourself uh, when you spend time, right? Figuring out these time blocks and making that happen on your calendar. All right. Now that you've created a nice calendar where you've time blocked your priorities, knowing what your commitments are, whether it's to your job, to your life, and also time that you've crafted for investing in your business, right? Working on things in your business. Now, the second question is how do we make sure that the hours we are spending on our business in those time blocks are going to be used most efficiently, right? Every hour counts for you and you want to maximize that productivity and get stuff done in less time. So the first thing to do is you want to make sure that you can use a process called theme days, which is what I use is to try to get pretty much the most similar tasks, the tasks that use the same parts of your brain, right? To batch and sprint on in one sitting as much as you can. Now we've learned in a lot of ways that multitasking, right? Doing multiple things in one sitting has not been the most productive things for us, right? Despite what we thought. Um, and so that is actually called context switching. And you look it up on the internet and just Google context switching, you'll start to see some studies and scientific studies that have been shown that every time we do things that are unrelated to each other, right? Like multiple things in one sitting, five, 10 different things in one sitting, you actually lose about 40% of your productivity, which is huge, right? And for someone that doesn't have a lot of time every single week, this can be the thing that's blocking your progress and blocking you from reaching your goals faster. So how do we avoid context switching using theme days? And I want to show you a little something of how I do that in my calendar into a sample calendar you can use as well. Uh, and what it means and what you can do to actually be able to batch your productivity, doing the same types of activities as much as possible so that you can actually complete things in a lot less time. Here's the sample calendar again, except now that you've seen at the top of each day, I've added some themes here. Now, Mondays are what I usually use for planning days. So it's a planning day theme. So basically everything that I'm doing that puts my planning brain to be activated is what I'm going to do for that day. So you can add on more things for the week if you need to, but really this day, Monday, right? It could be a Sunday for you. It's really dedicated to just planning your week, planning your priorities, planning for what's important to you. And that's it. You stay there for that day. And so if you've blocked off some an hour to work on your business for Tuesday, for example, let's say you are right now in the market research phase of your business. And a big part of your priorities is to conduct right market research with clients, figuring what to offer, figuring out what niche you want to be, putting your business in. You need to get out there and talk to people. And that's one of your priorities, let's say, right? That's for your business. Then Tuesdays might be a day that you're dedicating for that. And that's color coded, this um, kind of peachy color. And then I would actually go into that block, right, for your business and actually make a task happen. What can you do in an hour, right? It could be choose three ideal clients to schedule an interview with, right? And then I would change that to the color code of market research, save that. And now you know that Tuesdays are, this is what I'm doing, conducting it straight for the theme for market research. That's going to keep your brain doing that same type of task, right? Reaching out for interviews, talking to people, right? Reading blogs, maybe sleuthing on the internet about what people are offering and how you can be different. But you're really spending that time doing that one thing at a time and getting really well done so that when you move on from Tuesday, right, it's going to really feel complete that your market research activities are complete and finished and you can move on to something else that's important to you. So right here on Thursday, I've chosen social media as a theme, right? That could be when you prioritize batching 
and scheduling your social media, whether you have Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, or whatever is your poison that you're picking, right, for social media. But maybe that's when you actually take an hour, right, that you've already blocked for your business in the morning here to just work on postings or your micro essays or any inspirational quotes, whatever it is that you do for your social media, you're just going to batch and do that and schedule that in. And if you can do that for the week, then you don't have to worry anymore about posting every single day, especially when inspiration just doesn't hit you on the fly like that. You can sit down and actually just plan your social media for an hour, right? So this could be um, create five days worth of postings, right? Create five micro essays for Instagram, right? Totally doable in an hour. Put that in the blue color. And again, now you know social media is Thursday and that's all you're doing in that hour, right? Every hour has a purpose and you know exactly what you're going to do, which is going to make you more motivated to create action. Content production could be Friday, right? So let's say you might write a blog, right? If you're committed to writing a blog, filming a video for YouTube, whatever it is, if you can batch as much of that activity, right, that you can, that would be really, really great. So maybe that hour for Friday is a uh, film right? One YouTube video and a quick edit, right? Something nice and easy that you can do in an hour, switch that to a light blue to match the theme. And now you know that hour you're going to spend is specifically for that activity. I like to also theme days according to learning because I feel that learning is one of those things that take up a lot of our time and it kind of feels like we're progressing, but the more we learn, it's kind of sometimes feels like we're not getting anywhere and we might be learning kind of sporadically throughout the week. And I think what happens with that is it distracts us from doing the actual work that we want to do in our business, but there's nothing wrong with learning. And I think you can absolutely dedicate a day theme specifically for learning. I definitely do that. I like to do that on a Saturday morning. Uh, so if it's a video I want to watch on YouTube or a webinar training I want to attend or a book I want to read, I don't do that sporadically for the week. I'll park it in a folder, maybe it's an Evernote folder or a Google folder, and then I will pick one thing to learn every Saturday, right? So you can see learning is the theme for that week. So when you do your week review and reflection, you could be spending half an hour learning something, you could pick a video and that way, again, you're batching your brain to learn that day and you're not doing any implementation or execution. You're simply just spending time learning and you're not going to feel bad about spending that hour because you've dedicated the time for it. And you're also not going to be distracting yourself from the other days of the week that you're going to be spending doing some pretty important movements, right, to really build momentum towards your business goals. Creating time blocks and also creating theme days for my productivity has been a godsend in helping me get so much done, especially when I was working full time as an employee and starting my business on the side. But it's also been so helpful in helping me have a life in my business right right now seven years as being an entrepreneur i know that this practice has really allowed me to be very intentional about how i spend my time where i put my energy and have boundaries about you know what it is that i'm going to be working on what to say yes to and what to say no to for the week according to my commitments and my priorities so i hope that you uh, consider help using some of the practices that you learned today to start a fresh new week for yourself and i guarantee you if you do that with consistency you're going to start to find a change in how you are getting more stuff done in less time and you're going to feel a lot more masterful in being in control of your time and your energy. So I would love for you to share with me today what's the biggest aha moment or a takeaway from this video today that you would love to start implementing and really share with me uh, what's exciting you to really start using time blocking and theme days in your weeks. And next week I'm going to be covering an important topic to follow up on this video, which is how do I choose the right things to prioritize? How do I choose what's really going to move the needle for my business? And how do I be really valuable in the time that I spend in my business? And to really use um, something that I work with my clients a lot on, which is uh, what I call like block and sprint, right? How to get things done in a small amount of time. And I think um, that's really going to be helpful for you to combine that with theme days and time blocks in your calendar uh, in order to get more done in your your business building goals. So stay tuned for next week's video. I'm also going to be giving away uh, a really cool one pager printout that you could print out and use every single day to get more done and more focused. Um, and I can't wait to share that with you next week.
Thank you so very much for joining me and stay tuned for next week's video.